I'm Kay and I'm a late bloomer. A funny thing happened when I didn't plant an official winter garden this year. The self-seeders took over. This garden is due for an extreme makeover. I felt a little guilty about not planting a winter garden this year. Since I had planted three pineapple guava trees in the parkway last May, which are now loaded with blossoms, I skipped planting brassicas this year. But when you don't plant a garden, the self-seeders take over. First the borage, then the nasturtium, corn daisy. I planted some wildflower seed in 2012, and this comes back stronger every year. The great thing about all these self-seeders is they provide food for the bees, and they look pretty. I have no recollection of planting a geranium here, and I hardly even water this. In fact, I've hardly watered any of these self-seeders. Mmm, <laughs> I let my onions stay for the bees after they bolted, and I'll probably have a zillion little onions here. This is wild arugula, and it comes back no matter how many times I uh, pull it out. <laughs> and of course it bolts right away, but the bees love these flowers. You can still eat these leaves. They're uh, very spicy. Mm. <clears throat> right. <laughs> and but you see, it's so uh, intense that it runs over. It's running over my. You can't even see my sage down here. But the thyme is. Oh, that thyme <laughs> smells so good. And of course, there's borage. Now let's just do an experiment and see if a bee comes up to. <laughs> You saw one while I'm talking. Okay, um, someone commented to me the other day that my garden looked a bit random this time, meaning this season. And I thought, wait a minute. Now, I did plant some winter vegetables. I stuck a few seeds in here and there, and I planted my carrot bed very nicely in uh, January. <laughs> so let's take a little tour and see how many winter vegetables we can find. My carrots. <laughs> hey, let's pull one out. Um, I had to put this wire down here to keep out the raccoons from digging. It didn't really keep them from digging because they just stick their little paws right through it. But maybe I can pull one out. Let's see. Ah. Ah. Hey! <laughs> Look at that! <gasps> wow! After that whole parkway of kale last year, I only planted one container of kale this year and got one great harvest before mm -hmm, aphids showed up. <laughs> My baby lettuces. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? I really need to eat that right now. Let's try one. Oops, I hate when that happens. I didn't mean to pull the whole thing out. Mm. 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 I'm hoping for a repeat performance my second year of growing garlic. It hit me in January that I would have no sweet peas to munch in the garden. So I planted some quick season snap peas in the back 40 and on the parkway, pretty randomly. <laughs> I stuck some leftover beet seed in the back 40 as well. So for not planting a winter garden, I guess I don't feel all that guilty. <laughs> so let's get this makeover show on the road. I made a checklist. Number one, <laughs> harvest all winter vegetables and challenge my friend Moshkin to create a dish or dishes. Wow, that's beautiful. So we have peas and tomatoes from the garden and beets, beet tops, and 
garlic and onion. Mm. Is it good? Did you do good? Really good. Fresh. <laughs> Fantastic. I can't wait to try this flower. What was the name of this flower? Pineapple guava. Wow. Okay, let me see. Because it tastes... <laughs> Is it good? Wow, it's sweet. Yes. So good. They really did all the cooking. Number two get Kay's staging area under control, which required a trip to the store. I didn't do any of that. <laughs> Number three, remove Kay's largest borage plant. And this is the main trunk down here. That was one big plant, but you see it just breaks off very easily, very easy to pull out. I did that. Last but not least, number four, replace the boards in the back 40 uh, and create a little bit more space between the raised bed and the back 40 to walk. Now my back 40 is about 48 square feet. I help with that. So what's your extreme makeover project this spring? Please let me know. And please tune back in for day two of my extreme makeover. I'm Kay, I'm a late bloomer. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs> Let's have some breakfast. Mmm. Sweet. Mm. <laughs> Stop! <laughs>